In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' questions, which focus on how we can highlight a current date in the bar chart. So what we're going to do here, basically, we will look on the weekdays, and today is Sunday, and you can see here 16 January. This will be highlighted and will be colored black. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's explore how we can highlight the bar based on the weekday in Chart.js. So to do this, what we need to get first is our default code. Make sure you go to chartjs3.com, getting started, which you can find also in the description box. And then if you scroll down here, we're going to copy this nice chunk of code. So if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains the JavaScript of it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just paste this in here, cut out the title, move it in there. And then if I save this, refresh, there we are. All right, so what I want to do now is start to convert this basically in a proper structure. Because here, this is the weekdays, but I don't want to like this because this is just a string text. What I'm going to grab is just the date. So I'm going to make a date for this here. So I'm going to scroll down here and just convert this into the current weekday. So that's 2022. It's 1 January, or sorry, January. And then let's say here, uh, 12th, 12th January. So this will maybe 13, 14, 15, 16, and then we have here 17 and 18. All right. So once I have this, we can now start to work on this. If I refresh here, we have this. This is still a string. We need to get what we call the date adapter to make sure that this is now being read as a proper date object. To do that, go to chartjs.org, click here on ecosystem, and in the ecosystem here, scroll down here and look for adapters. Select this, then you have three options here. I'm going to recommend you to use this one. Why? This one is, or it only needs one single JavaScript file. While it is slightly harder, or personally for me, it's slightly harder to use, but if you only need the file and nothing more this is the best one because we don't use any features of it if you need the features blocks on tend to be easier to use but it requires two javascript files so that is what i usually do and if you are wonder what about moments no moments has been de deprecated in 2020 so they don't update it anymore so i would highly recommend you to ignore this one and go to one of these but in my case I'll just use a date FNS because we only want to add one JavaScript file which is better than adding two JavaScript files so scroll down here and then look for this specific chart yet adapter date FNS and you can see here the bundle copy this go back here or go back in here paste that after the chart yes library why the chart yes library has certain variables which basically the adapter depends on. So that will mean that this needs to load first before this can load or else you get an error. So if I save this now, we're not done yet. I want to now convert these here properly. So I'm going in here in the scales, I'm going to say here the X scales. Why the X scales? Because we're going to focus on the X labels here. They need to be converted into a proper date adapter or a proper date object. So we're going to say here, um, this would be a type. For the type of scale, we're going to type in here time. So now we created or activated basically the time object, and now we can use here the object of time. Then we say here unit, and what we want here is day. What this really does is basically convert, make sure you have a comma here. What this does is it will convert this now into a proper day. It recognizes it, and this is now, and you can see as we hover over it. 12 January 2022 at 12 a.m. There we are. All right, so what I want to do now is based on this, we need to know what is the day today plus that day needs to be converted. And remember, I'm going to focus here on weekdays. This would mean that, that well, this year, today is January 16th, which is Sunday. So this is Sunday here. So we're going to look for which day would be Sunday, and then we're going to match that and give this a color. So to do this, I'm going to create here a function below. And just for this extra, I'm just putting in some extra space so we have a nice center here. And then what I want to do is the following. I'm going to create this simple function here and I will just call this the high 
uh, highlight day. And then what I want to do here is to create a constant. And this constant will be very important because if we want to compare the dates here, this here is not being recognized. What I mean by that is not being recognized, this is just considered a string. Because of the JavaScript or the date adapter, eventually it converts somewhere behind the scene in the scale into a proper date adapter and that's why the tooltip as well sees this. But if we would just grab this here, it doesn't read it as a date uh, as a date object. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do here is I'll just do it very simple. We're going to say here data dot labels. So if I do this, I basically pinpoint here in the data con constant the labels, which is this object here, or this array, sorry. So I do now console log and just say show us everything. If I save this here, refresh, open up the developer tab. Uh, of course, so the reason why it doesn't show anything is because the function is not being triggered. So what I'm going to do here, I'll just say here, highlight this or trigger the function. Save that, refresh, there you are. So we get this here, but this here is not considered a proper date object. This is just a string. So how do we know what is a date object? Well, if I just get only one, I'm going to save that. You can see here, this is still this. But if I would say here the following, I'm going to say here new date and then just put it in like that save that refresh you can see here now this is the proper date object which is Wednesday January 12th so that will mean that this is Jan Wednesday and then here 2022 at 8 uh, 8 a.m. GMT or Greenwich Mean Time so this is basically the time zone where I'm located but what is more important for us is just Wednesday here. This information is for us important. Everything else is just redundant or extra data that I don't care about. But you can see here, do we need to put in, or basically we need to convert the entire array. So that's what we're going to do first. So let's convert the entire array. And for that, we're going to use the um, map array functionality or method. And the reason why the map array, I want to basically duplicate this array. I don't want to modify it in here originally. No, I want to keep the original array intact. But what I want to do is I basically want to duplicate this array with a new date object in here. So let's start to do that. So to do this, I'm going to create a very simple concept and let's call this our data days. And this will be eventually the array with the date objects. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here data.labels. Remember, that's what we get here above as well. That's basically where the array is located. And then we say here dot map. This is the map method. And then in here, I'm going to say here for every array item or element, basically every element, we're going to refer this now as day. So we're going to put in here a uh, arrow function expression and then in here, we're going to do the following. I'm going to put in here semicolon first. All right. Then I'm going to say here the following. I want to say your constant. And then I'll call this the date object. And the reason why date object, well, basically the array item of day, which is basically this right now, I want to make sure that that is being converted into a date object. So to maybe I will just show you first. So if I do a console log, say day, save refresh you can see here we're just looping through now through the entire array and there's just nothing special but now we're going to do the date object and this date object will be equal to new date and then here we just put in the day so we only put it one time but it will loop through every item in the array and then you will see now what will happen if I do a console log and just say date object so if I save this now and refresh you can see here it starts with the normal string and then it converts it into a proper object. Same here, it loops through all of these items here nicely. So what we have to do now is of course to return that specific item, but before we return, I want to get only the, uh, the Friday and Saturday. And how JavaScript does it, it will look at it as number, where it considers zero as Sunday and number one as Monday two as Tuesday and three as Wednesday and goes on until Saturday, which is six. So this is very important. So it converts into a number reference, not on a day string. Very important to understand this. So what I'm going to do here now is this date object, I'm going to say here 
dot get day and if we do this let me just do a console log on that as well we will grab the number value that represents the day so if I save this refresh you can see here this is um, well that's 12 January 12 January Wednesday and then number three which is correct because Sunday is zero Monday is one Tuesday is two and Wednesday is three so you can see here if you are here on Sunday 16 January it shows zero all right so now we're very close to it because we have basically everything here what I want to do here I want to return this so that this data days becomes an array with the adjustment we just made so I'm going to say here return once we did this you can do here console log and just grab the entire data days put that in there save that refresh and then oh let me just remove all of these console logs we don't need all of them because they will be now confusing us so let's save this again refresh you can see here now we get seven arrays or seven elements in the array and this is zero and up to six here for saturday or the role based sorry now the zero is three because that's wednesday this is wednesday thursday friday and here number four is sunday sunday is 16 so eventually we'll pinpoint this one here so what we're going to do is the following to get today's date that's what we need to do first we need to grab here our date what is the day of today so what we're going to do here i'm going to say here the following uh let's see here to get the today's date we can do maybe a console log and all i will say here is new date i'm going to put in here new date if i do this you'll see here we get right now current time here sunday january 16. all right so what i want to do now of course is to get the date only so i'm going to put in here dot put that in there save that refresh now we get zero which is sunday that is positioned here which is 16 january so now we need to pinpoint this and highlight the color for that so how do we do this well basically here we have this information and what i want to do now is i want to grab here that specific one into our index of so what i'm going to do here is the following i can just say maybe here constant uh or well here basically down we say a constant and then we can say here the index and this index will be and then we have here the data days and the data days will be dot index of and the dot index of is a option that will search for a matching value with that and grabs the index number which will be of course for us index number four you can see index number four equals sunday which is zero so now here all i want to do is just grab this one here put that in there and then let's do a console log and just see what we get here for index if i save that refresh here we get now index four all right so that is correct so index four which is sunday so now what i want to do here is the following i'm going to say here well we can just remove this here and i'll just remove all of these console logs and then in here we're going to say well because now we know exactly where the position is in here now we can just give it the proper color and let's highlight the color now so we're going to say here my chart and what i'm really going to do now is the following i go from my chart here to config and from config we go to the data and from data we're going to go to data sets and this is data sets index zero because there's only one data set in here and then we're going to grab here the background color and reassign the background color so we're going to say here my chart dot config dot data dot data sets and i'm going to hard code this one with zero and a dot background color but here i don't want the entire background color no i want the index number of it and the index number is this one so i'm going to put that in there and then we say here this equals black the moment we do this and then we say in my chart dot update it will then update the chart here save that refresh and you can see here now this is exactly how we do this and then it updates it nicely 
to today's color. So the reason why it works is because here we have the today's date that we grab. And that makes it very easy to update the item itself. And that's basically how to do this. So if you like this video and maybe you will say, hold on, I have maybe different structuring of your date compared to what I did, then I would highly recommend you to watch this specific video here, how to use different date formats in Chart.js so that that will be readable for you as well. So that's a very interesting one as well, very useful if you get your dates from your MySQL database, but in a different format. 